all the neighbors are rallying round, offering help. Oh shit, here's another one. I don't get a minute to myself. There's Nikki next door offering to go to Morrison's for me every day. And there's Frank over the road, tapping on my window with more of his bloody rhubarb. Uh, and then there's Malcolm and Tricia pestering me to do another Zoom quiz. Oh, Mum! 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 Just stop the quiz. No, stop the quiz. Just a minute. But I just need to clarify something on question eight. Did you mean seeding or ranking? Because, well, because they are totally different things. Seeding is specific to the tournament. It represents the, the likelihood of the player winning the tournament among all the other participants of that tournament. Ranking is based on a cumulative ATP points across all tournaments. Yeah? Christ. You can do a quiz, Mom. You've got to be across this kind of shit. It looks like I'm going to have to go back to work, back to the world of insurance. I'm fine about it because I've, I've really enjoyed developing my artistic skills. And uh, this is a painting I'm particularly proud of. Government is not there to tell me what to do. I vote for the government to tell it what to do. And if I tell the government to oh, wipe my ass, it better wipe my goddamn ass. I was inspired by Picasso's Guernica, and I'm calling this Insurance Comparison Website. And here you can see the Comparison Website cowboys arriving in town and ruining a business that had been working perfectly well for years. And they're represented by this cowboy meerkat uh, is strangling the direct line red telephone. But the telephone is fighting back with a machine gun and mowing down all the cowboys. Hooray! I like all the, uh, the blood here. That's uh, very evocative. It's my preference to wipe my own goddamn ass. But if, if I got the option here you've got the Go Compare opera singer uh, who was trying to castrate the Admiral. and uh, But the Admiral is fighting back and actually castrating the opera singer, uh, which I like because opera singers actually sound, you know, like they've been castrated. He's also being savaged by this uh, Churchill dog and you can see the speech bubble saying, Are you going to die? Oh, lush. Have some government bureaucrat come here with his toilet paper and clean up my chassis. These characters here are the supermarkets who've got in on the act, amateurs who don't have a clue what they're talking about, and they're trying to bomb the city of Zurich. And uh, you probably get the reference to Zurich insurance there. Uh, but Zurich's having none of it and it's got its finger on the nuclear button. <laughs> Take that, Sainsbury's Bank Insurance. You can probably see the influence of uh, Cezanne here. Well, is it Great Britain or the United Kingdom? No, 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 because they're not, no, they're not the same, Mum. They're not, then they are not. It's a shit question. Right, right, Northern Ireland is not in Great Britain, but it is in the United Kingdom. That's, Dad, just tell her, of course it matters. And then uh, most evil of all is the financial services regulator who allowed this lot to come on in the first place. Here he is being set on fire by Sheila from uh, Sheila's Wheels. And he doesn't have fire and damage insurance. Unlucky. <laughs> the government, God bless him and all the sailing imps, I said it's a so kosher to go out of the home a bit more. I know an Englishman's house is his uh, elephant in the castle, but... It's so good to do, to drop the drawbridge and skedaddle across the, the moat to the allotment and catch up with the old vegetables. Uh, you have to give them the TLC for them to uh, be staying alive. Yeah. All credit to the BGs. I miss the Barry Gibb. And ten minutes ago, Lisa phoned, threatening to bring the grandchildren over again so they can stare at me through the window like some old panda in a zoo. I just wish everyone would leave me alone. 
Seven weeks in, military training's kicking in. Lost the bed, don't need it. Very easy to lose your mind in long periods of self-isolation. Very easy indeed. Become dehumanised, um, which is why when I saw a mouse in the kitchen the other day, instead of killing him instantly, I captured him under a glass and then gave him a proper trial for trespassing where he was found guilty. And then I killed him. Really? Don't think the government are on top of this. Uh, you know, what with all the, the PPE shortage, etc, etc. Um, anyway, yesterday I decided to make a face mask myself, design a face mask. So uh, I designed this. Um, as you can see, it's well, it, it's basically a, a, it's a bin bag, bin liner, which I've cut and then um, attached basically just string and sellotape. There you go, pop your uncle. An effective face mask, very simple. Frankly, the mouse just wasn't able to give a convincing account as to why he strayed into my territory. I mean, he just squeaked something that I didn't understand. And then when I accused him of espionage, he denied it. Anyway, um... <laughs> Uh, so, oh, I need to restick that. Anyway, uh, I decided immediately to contact my local hospital to let them know about my designs <coughs> and see if I could in any way help. Um, they sent me a really nice email back saying thank you, they had enough. He was unable to present a lawyer to argue his case, so, you know, he represented himself very poorly, in my opinion. I mean, he didn't even understand the, 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 just the basics of military law or even the Geneva Convention. Then later on, you know, I'm hearing there isn't enough. So uh, I thought, well, I'll just go down to the hospital myself, take my designs with me. Um, I spoke to a really nice woman on reception there. Really nice. She she actually got a security guard to see me off the premises safely, which was really nice. As a soldier, though, he was entitled to a full burial with honours, which I duly carried out on the compost heap. I didn't have a trumpet to pay the last post, so uh, so I improvised. Uh, I had to go back there an hour later, long story, because I thought I'd left my, left my phone there. <clears throat> and um, actually, I was just so shocked because um, I saw what looked like my designs, or very similar to my designs, in a skip. And I was so shocked because I thought, well, hey, and, you know, apparently someone out there is ripping off my designs. No, no, no. Sk Scandinavian and Nordic are not the same. Oh, Christ, it's doing my head in there. Mom, you, you're not doing this quiz again. No, because it's not just a bit of fun, is it? If the questions are all crap. It's not because I'm losing. It's not because I'm losing. Your questions, your questions are terrible. It, Dad, you, I, you muted yourself again. I can't hear you. You've muted... And we're supposed to stand idly by while the economy goes down the toilet and then scrabble about to find the money to buy ventilators. Anyway, I'm working on a ventilator now uh, with a bicycle pump and a space hopper. So the idea is you cut a hole into the space hopper and you, you, you place it on the patient's head and then the nurse puts the nozzle into the mouth and pumps air in that way. Yeah, I've not heard back from the hospital on that yet, but I've ordered, um, I've ordered 100 space hoppers, so... So I've got plenty to be getting on with. The planet's too full anyway. Fewer people to use plastic bottles. That should put a smile on Greta Thunberg's face. Although, good luck with that. What's Louise doing? She's looking at her phone. Louise? Louise? Yeah, you're Googling. No, I can, I can see, I can actually see you Googling. Simon, can you tell your wife not to cheat? You are cheating, Louise. You're always cheating. So you're coming out of the old inn with that bloke from the Lloyd's Bank and your cheeks are all flushed in the air, his hand on your ass. Yeah, well I am, yeah. I, I too, I'm sorry you had to hear that in the middle of the family quiz, Simon. Um, next question. 